Good evening, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to save updated products into updated product into the database. Okay, so uh, in our last example, what we did so far is uh, oh, sorry, not this one. When we click edit button, we when we click submit, right, it works, right. Oh, no, sorry. When we click edit, it will show us the form and with pre filled in the values. Now, if I change the value here, then click submit button, it should work. But now that doesn't work, right? So let's take a look. Eh? Did I fix this thing? I remember I fixed it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it later. Okay. I click, it will work. It should work. Okay. So let's see what, it, what should uh, we do in the code. First, we have to do is um, we have to take a look at. Okay, we start from here. Click button. Okay, we take a look at it. when we click button. Where should it go? Where should it go? We should take a look at our action. So when I click this submit button in the browser, it should go to a URL. It's called a slash admin slash edit product, and the method is post. And uh, uh, I already know it's gonna be in the admin, okay? And uh, the slash admin is in our app.js. Here, app.js has slash admin. So here we're only looking for slash edit product, but it must to be a post, okay? Post. So it's gonna handle by this router. This router, we are using this uh, middleware, which is edit product. And here I already get all the information, right? And the information here request the red body dot ID. This ID has no relationship with our model. Here in our model we have uh, this ID here, right? Which is underscore. But uh, this uh, in our controller request the body this ID has no relationship with our product model. It is why this value is to match in our form. The, this ID, okay? If here I call underscore ID, then inside your controller here, you have to use underscore ID. And another thing we have to fix here is uh, to display the product information, then we have to using underscore ID. Because so far, without underscore ID, if I inspect the element, here you can see input hidden, name id the value here is empty because previously here we are using id once i change to be underscore id save and then i refresh the page do you see the change hidden id name equals id value is already being set this is the first fix we are doing now second we go back to our controller yes to fix this update okay we go inside update here we are updated to our uh, what's the thing? Uh, to our array, we remove it. Const db equals get a db, and we are db dot collection. Then here we're using products, okay, and here I using uh, update right, update one you can use it, and you're gonna have the first. Uh, the first parameter is an object that contains the filter information, which is used to find, identify the object uh, document you want to update. Second is the thing you want, you are trying to update. Okay, and for the first, we're gonna using the ID to find, and here we must be using new object ID because this value. Request about the ID, it's gonna be a string, which is uh, this string value, okay? But in our database, we expect, we ex uh, the database ex expect, okay? It should uh, using object ID, then he ha it has a string value there. So we have to convert this string value into an object ID type, okay? How to do that? If you watch my previous video, you or should already know using this one, right? Okay, in this one, and here we're using this dot underscore ID. And what's the thing here? We're using this set. Okay. What to be set? What to be set here? 
to be set here is the thing the, those those chain the values title price image you are in description so here we are using title this title match in your database you have a field called a title okay this start a title Uh, price, sorry, 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 sorry. Price, this dollar price, okay. And what's others? Uh, what's others? Or oh, image URL. This start. I don't know, like this start. Image URL, okay. And the next one is description, and we're using this start description, okay. And uh, we return it. Uh, doing return, it's gonna return uh, a promise, okay. And then inside our uh, controller, here we will resolve it, okay. Okay, and here we, uh, in the then we we'll give a callback, okay. Okay, give a callback a result. Result, then we do a redirect and here update the product because this represent the product. Product doesn't have ID, doesn't have ID. We change this one to be underscore ID, okay? Because here is underscore ID now. We have to change this one also to be underscore ID, okay? So let's do a test. Here on the page, okay, I change this one to be three, 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 and this one to be, uh, let's use the angular, right? Here I have angular, we change to be this part, this part, and I submit, and we go, and it's changed, and this one is changed, okay? So that's uh, how we uh, do the, how we update the product, okay? Thank you for watching this video. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.